Hello friends. So in the last video, we talked about uh, the various uh, various components that are required to get a place in a reputed company, right? And I <clears throat> actually ended the last video on a question, on a, on, on a note that why do the technical companies, uh, suppose a company is hiring for a role of software developer, software engineer, software tester, something like that still why does that company prefers or why does that company can hire the person with no technical skills only on the basis of their aptitude and soft skills right it is because <clears throat> see it was a time around 15 to 20 years ago when the toppers of the college like uh, the one who got 85 percent would get a place in the best company in the college that that came to the college the one who got 82 percent will get place in the in the second best company of the college right the uh the third best students would would get a place in the third best uh company of the college and so on right but that trend has actually changed that trend has actually changed because now you can see uh, and you actually you actually uh, you may have seen that that uh, the person with 65 percent of marks in their btech or bc or in graduation get a place in a company uh, with with a much higher package or with a very good package compared to a person with suppose 80 to 85 percent uh, marks right so right now the trend is that the marks are not much relevant in terms of the placement preparations right if the marks in your graduations are not do not have a, a huge role to play and this is because the company are oriented orienting about uh, the the company are uh, thinking like that uh, if a person is mentally smart if a if a student is mentally smart and he can catch whatever I, whatever we tease them, right? So it is a ready to, you know, ready to get placed material for us because the technology is changing with a very rapid rate nowadays, right? As you can see, within six months, a new thing appears in the world, in the field of the, uh, in the field of the, uh, different different industries and a person has to forget what he was doing has to you know let go what he was doing and he has to switch to a newer technology a new work that is that is you know that has just been introduced so uh if there's a if there's a person who is very good in their btech has suppose 85 90 percent of their btech so he also has to unlearn and relearn whenever the technology is changed right and if he is not able to if he is not so much mentally smart that he is not very rapidly able to learn unlearn and relearn the things the new new things right so that would be a problem for the company right for example if in in one year if if an in, in an year if the company is uh you know trying to switch to a newer technology so the company would require such candidates who have the uh who have the mental smartness to uh you know quickly grasp the things right the one who can grasp the grasp the things at 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 at, at a very rapid pace would be an asset to those type of companies and that is what happening in in, in you know in, in the corporate world because the technology is very rapidly changing so they these the companies are not looking for technically brilliant students they are looking for the exceptional minds the the students who can unlearn and relearn the things the the students having a great mental smartness to deal with any type of problem that come across right so that's why companies are focusing 
even they can even give you a place in their in the in in their uh, company uh, without having technical knowledge, right? Okay, so let's go ahead. <clears throat> let's discuss the uh, various aspect of the of the aptitude as well, right? One by one, we will discuss everything: aptitude, soft skills, and technical, right? And how much aptitude you should be preparing? How how? how much aptitude you need how much soft skills you need how much technical skills you need to get a place in a company right so aptitude is generally defined in three uh, different uh, domains three different parts first is quantitative aptitude second is logical reasoning third is verbal ability right now <clears throat> what is quantitative aptitude <clears throat> quantitative aptitude can be termed as basic maths quantitative aptitude can sometimes be called as basic maths right so uh, by basic maths i mean the maths of 10th level up to class 10th by basic maths i mean the uh, the 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 uh, maths up to 10th level right but there's a change the change is that in the questions or in the in the uh, in your 10th class in your 10th class the questions were subjective the questions were subjective and you would get around 5 minutes or maybe more around 5 minutes or maybe more per question right but in aptitude in quantitative aptitude you will get hardly 2 minutes per question right the other difference is that the questions in 10th class were subjective right while majorly the 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 uh, questions of quantitative aptitude you will find would be objective by objective i mean multiple choice question right there would be four choices or five choices to a question right and you have to select the right answer it doesn't matter what method you follow it doesn't matter how you got that got to that answer you have to get to that answer which is one of the choices in the multiple choice right within Two minutes, and this is you know maximum. Uh, I'm telling, you will not get two minutes in each and every exam. Generally, you get a uh, one to one point five minutes per question in the exams. This two minutes is on a higher side, right? So if you are getting two minutes per question in a quantitative aptitude exam, so that exams that that exam you can consider easy. right as per the standards of aptitude okay then comes the logical reasoning logical reasoning means uh, see uh, now let me go back just a bit to quantitative aptitude only so quantitative aptitude in 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 this quantitative aptitude you will find the topics same as you as the topics you have studied till class 12th it is sorry it is till class 10th like percentage ratio proportion uh, average mixture relegation time speed distance time and work and so on right so topics would be same even even the questions would be same you will find that the questions are also same right the difference is only uh, that you don't have to follow any method in in class 10th we also had step marking suppose we are not able to get to the answer final answer so we also used to get the uh, the marks for steps but in quantitative aptitude there's nothing there's no concept of step marking because uh, you will be getting four multiple choice type questions and if you have got the right answer you'll got you'll get the full marks if you get the wrong answer you don't get the marks and even you get the negative marks in some some of the exams right so that is a punishment for <clears throat> you know solving a uh, a question wrong you also have to tackle with the negative marks okay so uh, 
just a second students i have mistakenly closed um, the screen okay let's continue i hope you can see this okay so in logical reasoning you'll find the questions which can be solved without any pre knowledge right for the uh, solution of the questions of logical reasoning you don't need a degree to you don't need a a, a definite amount of studies to be able to solve the question of logical reasoning for example all the questions of puzzles come under logical reasoning for example if i ask you something like uh, something like there's a urn there's a uh, there's a urn or we can call it as bag there's a bag in which in which five uh, five black balls and four red balls are there there's an urn in which five black ball and four red balls are there okay so how many balls we can we have to extract from this bag to make sure that we have two uh, that we have two uh, balls of same color how many minimum balls we have to extract out of this so as to ensure that we have two balls of same color okay now this is just a very small example of logical reasoning question right answer for this question would be 3 right if you uh, if you need to be ensured that you have to uh, have uh, two balls of same color you need to take out three balls out of this right you can think about this question later right for now let's move ahead <clears throat> so logical reasoning is a question is is a subject which doesn't require any pre knowledge or any degree to be solved right for example the uh, chapters of logical reasoning may be blood relation directions coding decoding i hope you must have heard uh, the names of these chapters coding decoding uh, number series uh, analytical reasoning uh, directions and uh, and many more right so all these things do not actually require uh, your solution do not actually require any degree to be able to solve right it's not that uh, that if you have the degree of uh, uh, graduation if you have a graduation degree then you will definitely be able to crack this uh, the questions of logical reasoning it's not so right so what happens in logical reasoning is if a fifth class students if if a fifth class student is you know very sharp then he can solve a question which a phd holder can't so there is no barrier of uh, studies there is no barrier of uh, uh, education while we are sub, uh, while we are solution solving the questions of logical reason right if a phd holder is a duffer from mind then he may not be able to solve a question which an extra brilliant fifth class student can solve okay so that's the that's the uh, second topic that's the second sub subject in aptitude logical reasoning okay then be then we have verbal ability as well verbal ability can be termed as basic english right and this subject verbal ability this this uh, topic verbal ability is also the english up to 10th level but in a logical way now you will uh, now you will uh, you know worry uh, how we can apply the logic in english but it is but it is a logical uh, logical subject suppose in reading comprehension uh, in 10th class what we used to see is 
there was a paragraph there has to be there used to be a paragraph and there were questions question one question two and so on so uh these were very easy question when it came when they came in the schools because uh suppose a question is there why it is called as why it is called why it is called as something correct so we had a line in the paragraph in which there was an ex exact answer given right uh it is called as something it is called as something because and next two lines so what we used to do is we just used to copy paste those two lines to get this answer right but this will not be case this will not be the case in verbal ability in verbal ability you will find a very logical question for the reading comprehension as well for example you will find the questions like uh, what could be the summary of this paragraph what could be the summary of this paragraph what author is trying to convey with the help of this paragraph right what can be the suitable title for this paragraph so what happens is in verbal ability the questions becomes become logical and to understand to answer those question you actually need to understand the complete paragraph right you will not get the answer of the questions of verbal ability without understanding the paragraph so that's the difference between basic english and verbal ability all right students <clears throat> okay so uh i think this is it in this video this is the part 2 video we will continue uh this series uh in the next video we will continue we will tell uh go insight in the uh soft skills part and technical parts as well then we will go to the uh some of the concepts of uh how to how to cv formation and uh, we will classify the different different companies right and many more uh things have to things would be coming in the upcoming videos right so please stay tuned and uh I'll see you in the next video all right okay so for this video uh that's it we have a course launched uh specifically uh for this campus recruitment right so you can you can go through that course as well at mindworks.in our website is mindworks.in thank you